Now August is one of the hottest months of the year, but that doesn't mean you cannot catch a limit of crappie in just a matter of a couple hours using the stuff that I go over in today's video. So in August, it's hot. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's hot outside. You've got to be prepared for that. You either want to go really early and get off the water before you get too hot or wear all your sun gear, have plenty of water, etc. But we're just gonna dive right into this. I'm Steven Turner, welcome to Turner Fishing. And today, I'm gonna to explain where to find crappie in the month of August and how to catch them. So, August has been historically, at least for me, one of the hottest bites of the year. But it, it takes some getting used to. It's not a normal, okay i find a brush pile that has fish on it and i sit there and i catch a limit it's more of i, I got a bite in 15 feet of water on a brush pile that's six foot high how many of those do i have around me that i can go hit within an hour and what i mean by that is if i go to a brush pile and i'm slip corking minnows or i'm throwing a crappy man jig if i get a bite and I only get maybe one or two fish in the boat within 15 to 20 minutes, I'm gonna crank that motor up and I'm gonna go to the next brush pile that is similar to the one I was just fishing. Now I know a lot of you are like, man, I ain't got that many brush piles. Well, that's the cool thing about the summertime is if you have a side scan or down scan and you get hot, you crank that daggone motor up and go try to find more brush piles. I mean, you may not find any, but at least you're gonna cool off and then you just go back to that brush pile that you do know and maybe they'll bite again. But what I like to do is I like to set up what I could call a milk run. And basically, before I even go on the water, I'm gonna have a general idea of whatever area I'm gonna fish that I know where at least three to eight brush piles are. And within an hour, unless i'm getting a bite on the brush pile i stop on now i'm going to try to fish every brush pile within that hour and th the way i learned that is on lake murray which is my home lake we it's a herring lake so fishing bass tournaments in the summertime well not really summer the early summertime when the herring are spawning you've got to go from point to point to point to point to point to point and you've got to have the milk run of points and that, that's how you fish all day long, is just hitting points. So I adapted that to crappy fishing where I've got five or six brush piles in 15 to 20 feet of water. I'm gonna go around in a circle and hit every one of those until I get a limit. Now, what brush piles do we look for? Cause there's a lot of dead water out there thanks to the thermocline. There's, there's some brush piles that are just too deep. You know, right now, 30 feet on Murray is probably too deep for a brush pile to be looking for. I mean, I may be wrong, I may be right. It, it just depends on your water temperature, how much rain, how much oxygen, is the river running? There's a lot of factors that go into a lot of stuff, but once you get a bite, try to replicate that bite. And then if you get two bites, milk it out. Now, when I say looking for a brush pile, I'm, I am looking for a brush pile that looks like this. Now, this brush pile has fish on top of it. I don't want fish around my brush pile. I want fish above my brush pile. These are gonna be your active fish and you're more than likely gonna catch a few off a brush pile that looks like this. Now, the things you're gonna need to do this brush pile technique where you're doing a milk run, you're gonna need a marker buoy now you can pick these up at Walmart, at some Walmarts, most uh, Sportsman Warehouse, Academy, stuff like that. Or you can even order them on Amazon. You could probably make your own with a big cork and a sinker and some fishing line. But a marker buoy is key this time of year because you're able to throw it out and know where you're fishing. You know, if you're not, if you don't have forward facing sonar, whatever, slip corking a minnow is deadly this time of year. You know, I, I make baits for a living, but I'm gonna tell you, don't go fishing without two or three dozen of minnows and have two rods, one with a crappy man jig and one with a slip cork and a minnow. Because if you're able to use a marker buoy on that brush pile and throw that minnow out at the perfect depth, say 
you're fishing 20 feet of water that brush pile comes up to eight feet of water you can set your slip cord to 11 to 10 feet throw it out on that brush pile you're going to know within a minute if those fish are active you know with a jig you kind of got to play with the depth and all that so the minnow is really going to speed things up this time of year because those active fish aren't going to ignore that minnow that's coming up over them so now as far as what colors and all that go this time of year i, I keep it simple crappy man green and monkey milk in the little minnow the 1.5 inch or the micro minnow which is a 1.2 inch 132 ounce jig head you know i normally fish a 164 but when i'm fishing these deeper brush piles i'm going to throw a 132 or even a 116 depending on how deep they're actually biting so but a 132 probably can cover every depth range it really doesn't take that long to get a 132 down to 15 feet so color wise crappy man green monkey milk if they don't bite those i'm going to the next one like i said i'm trying to hit as many brush piles within an hour as i can and that's going to just amplify everything up now it might not be the funnest thing in the world i'm not going to lie to you you're out there you're grinding it's not man this is so enjoyable i might catch a fish today no you're one cast two cast three cast four cast damn bite let's get the heck up out of here let's go to the next one and then once you find that brush pile you're like oh toad boom toad throw them in the boat then you're going to the next brush pile and then two three hours pass you're like oh i'm limited out let me go home so now the next key area that you can focus on if it gets too hot are bridges but you don't want shallow water bridges you don't want your bridges in the back of the creek you want your main river channel bridges you want your main lake bridges anything that has some depth to it that's different than the other bridges on your lake like if you got bridges in 10 feet of water you're looking for bridges in 20 feet of water if you got bridges in 15 feet of water you look for bridges in 25 feet of water etc you got to adapt to your lake just because you're watching my video i'm like i can't pinpoint what your lake does but these bridges will hold fish 365 days of the year i keep telling that people don't believe me you want to go to these bridges and fish them slow if you brought your minnows take your slip cork set it to a certain depth throw it on the side of the boat and just have your pole there and fish your jigs around those bridge pillars until you figure out the bite <clears throat> you know this may take 20 30 casts but you're out of the sun you're taking a break that's okay you know stick with it and if you get a couple bites hey it's a bonus and when you cool off you go back to your milk run on the on the brush piles now another awesome area to fish this time of year is docks i mean obviously docks are going to play because docks do what they have shade on them all day long you know if it's 6 a.m the fish may be out in front of that dock around the dock wherever the brush pile is near that dock but as soon as that sun gets up those fish are going to conjugate under those docks and the only way you can find them is with forward facing sonar or side imaging you want to take your side imaging and just go down the bank or go well go down the bank go down the docks and you're looking for something that looks look like somebody threw a bunch of rice on your screen and then once you find that you figure out how to get up under that dock you take your 13 foot acc and stick it up under that dock or you cast down the side of the dock with a 164 ounce jig head a little minnow micro minnow let that wash up under that dock take your time figure out how far you need to cast figure out how long you need to let that cast soak in that water once you get a bite repeat that process five or six times catch a few off that dock try to find another dock or go hit another brush file this time of year you've got to do the milk run if you don't want to do the milk run then you might want to just stay in the air conditioner because it's very 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 rare that you catch 20 fish off one brush pile so hopefully you know either you're going to be mad at me or you're going to learn something on this channel we don't care but i do invite you to subscribe if you want to learn how to catch crappy 365 days of the year